Heart disease in pregnancy is a challenge for the obstetrician and the cardiologist. This discussion covers MWHO, CAPREC, Sahara and CAPREC2 risk scores for risk stratification of heart disease in pregnancy. Hemodynamic changes in pregnancy and labor can adversely affect many of the significant cardiac lesions. Increase in blood volume and heart rate are the important factors during pregnancy. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. In general, stenotic lesions and pulmonary hypertension are poorly tolerated while regurgitant lesions are better tolerated. Specific risks like aortic dissection and rupture are there for coarctation of aorta. Several risk stratification schemes have been developed for assessing risk of pregnancy with heart disease over the years. According to modified World Health Organization classification, obstetric patients with heart disease are classified into class 1 very low risk, class 2 low to moderate risk, class 3 high risk, class 4 extremely high risk, pregnancy is contraindicated. Modified WHO class 1 includes the following mild pulmonary stenosis, small patent ductus arteriosus and mitral valve prolapse, successfully repaired simple lesions including atrial ventricular septal defects, patent ductus arteriosus and anomalous pulmonary venous drainage, isolated atrial or ventricular ectopic beats. Class 2 includes unoperated AST and VST, repaired tetralogy of fallow and most arrhythmias, mild left ventricular dysfunction, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, Marfan syndrome without aortic dilatation, bicuspid aortic wall associated with aortic disease having diameter less than 45 mm, native and tissue valvular disease which is not included in class 1 or 4 and repaired coarctation may be included in either class 2 or 3 depending on individual situations. Class 3 includes mechanical heart valves systemic right ventricle as after atrial switch operation for transposition of great arteries, fondant circulation, unrepaired cyanotic heart disease, other complex congenital heart diseases, Marfan syndrome with aortic diameter between 40 to 45 mm and bicuspid aortic valve with aortic dilatation in the range of 45 to 50 mm. Class 4 that is pregnancy contraindicated includes pulmonary arterial hypertension of any cause, severe systemic ventricular dysfunction with low ventricular ejection fraction below 30%, New York Heart Association functional class 3 to 4, previous peripartum cardiomyopathy with any residual left ventricular dysfunction, severe mitral stenosis, severe aortic stenosis which is symptomatic, Marfan syndrome with aortic dilatation more than 45 mm, aortic dilatation more than 50 mm associated with bicuspid aortic wall and severe native coarctation of aorta. CARPREG risk score was published in circulation in 2001 by the CARPREG investigators from Canada and actually predates the MWHO scoring system which came in heart in 2006. Four predictors of primary cardiac events were 1. Prior cardiac event heart failure, transient ischemic attack or stroke prior to pregnancy or arrhythmia. 2. Baseline NYHA class above 2 or cyanosis. 3. Left heart obstruction, mitral valve area less than 2 square centimeter, aortic valve area less than 1.5 square centimeter or peak left ventricular outflow tract gradient of more than 30 millimeters of mercury by echocardiography. 4. Reduce systemic ventricular systolic function with ejection fraction less than 40%. Sahara risk predictors include 1. History of arrhythmic event 2. NYHA functional class above 2 3. Left heart obstruction with peak gradient above 50 mm of mercury 4. Mechanical prosthetic valve 5. Moderate or severe systemic AV valve regurgitation possibly related to ventricular dysfunction 6. Moderate or severe subpulmonary AV valve regurgitation possibly related to ventricular dysfunction. 7. Use of cardiac medication during pregnancy. 8. Repaired or unrepaired cyanotic heart disease. 
Carpet 2 has been published in May 2018 in the Journal of American College of Cardiology. It improves upon their Carpet scoring system and is based on nearly 2000 pregnancies with heart disease from two advanced centers in Canada. The score is based on 10 predictors. Each predictor is assigned a weighted point score. The sum of points represents the score. Carpet 2 risk predictors and their points are as follows. 1. Prior cardiac events or arrhythmias, 3 points. 2. Baseline NYHA class 3 or 4, 3 points. 3. Mechanical heart valve, 3 points. Ventricular dysfunction, 2 points. 5. High risk left sided wall disease or LVOT obstruction, 2 points. 6. Pulmonary hypertension, 2 points. 7. Coronary artery disease, 2 points. 8. High risk aortopathy, 2 points. 9. No prior cardiac intervention, 1 point. 10. Late pregnancy assessment, 1 point. Here are the first set of references on risk stratification of heart disease in pregnancy. Here are the second set of references on risk stratification of heart disease in pregnancy. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.